Yeah, that's a good job, ladies and gentlemen. Kings, Queens, how are doing? Y'all feeling today? We got the Deadly Divide in East London, 7th versus 6th. Now, this was brought to us by UK Drill Plug, and I'm not going to lie, it was recommended by I don't fucking know right now because <laughs> I, I couldn't find the comment. There'd be so many recommendations, some of the recommendations be in reply, some of them be like, like, I'd be finding some of these, rec like, by chance. Like, if y'all don't com make your own comments, then I, it's hard for me to see. Like, for some reason, the notifications don't come up. And there'd be so many, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sorry. Uh, I, If I had to bank on somebody, I'd say it was Caden. But I'm not 100% sure. So whoever's recommended this, because I'm pretty sure I've seen it plenty of times, too. So anybody that's recommended it, appreciate you for the recommendation. But anyways, man, let's get some more to it. This is my last video for today my last reaction for today so you know what i'm saying for tonight uh yeah man see y'all tomorrow after this but uh appreciate y'all for uh you know what i'm saying you know what i mean uh, let's get some more doing ah newham is a okay. london borough located in you east know? london newham has been an infamous part of london with low. notorious gangsters and gangs hailing from the area an example would be the cray twins who controlled the criminal streets of newham however this video isn't about the cray twins but instead the dangerous gang war between seventh and sixth this feud has proven to be dangerous with over 20 people being killed due to their involvement with the beef before i get okay. into the beef it's important to note that the seventh gang along with cge 15th and manor park make up an alliance in newham the alliance is referred gotcha. to as north side Newham, and similarly to the Northside Newham Alliance. The Southside gangs would also form an alliance under Southside Newham. These gangs consisted of 6th Custom House and Canning Town, meaning that gotcha. a lot of the beef would be between Southside Newham and Northside Newham. Now 7th, or formerly known as E7 Crips, is a large street gang based around the Forest Gate area within the E7 postcode. In recent years, we would see 7th split into two different sets due to in-house beef, these sets being Woody and BWC. However, I will explain the split between 7th later on in the video. 7th has been around since the late 1990s with them being composed of many small street gangs. In recent years, 7th has had a big impact on the modern day drill scene with huge UK drill rappers hailing from the gang. These rappers include okay. Yanko, CB, YCB, and Broad Day. Only yeah, streets away from the 7th names. gang okay. and the Northside Newham Alliance is the large street gang named 6th. 6th are also referred to as ACG musically. The younger generation are known as ACG or Anyone Can Go, with the older generation oh. going by many different names, including BBS or Beckton Black Square and HTM or harder than most. Sixth along with neighboring gangs Custom House and Canning Town make up the Southside Newham Alliance, beefing Northside Newham. Sixth have also had a big impact on modern drill with rappers like Young Diz, Ryda, Twin S, and Double M. Now sixth and seventh uh, haven't always had a rivalry. In the early 2000s they would be calm with each other. However in 2009 this would all change. 15 year old boy with stab wounds oh. to his chest. A member from right, the gang CGE mentioned. named Captain would be walking on Whitwell Road in Playstow at around 10.45 p.m. on Saturday the 24th of January 2009. Over a dozen custom house members would spot Captain and a fight would ensue. This would sadly end in Captain being stabbed multiple golly, times dude. and being pronounced dead on the scene in his sister's arms. A custom house member named Major would be arrested for the murder. He would be charged and found guilty of the murder that being sentenced to at least 17 years in prison. Up. That nigga was 17, or 16, I mean. This nigga 16? What the fuck? What the fuck? for the murder. He would be charged and found guilty of the murder being sentenced to at least 17 years in prison. He was recently pictured on Snapchat nah, for his boy. 28th birthday. The death I was about of Captain to... would spark a divide in New York with the say. friends of Captain starting to beef Custom House and allied gangs. This caused the divide which we know today as Northside versus Southside Newham. Only a okay. year later on the 4th of July 2010, a Custom House member named Ace would be riding his bicycle back from a party he attended. Younger members from CGE would spot him and identify him as a rival. They would run up to him and a fight would ensue. This sadly ended in Ace being stabbed over 10 times. His lung would be punctured as a result of the wounds, yeah, and right. he would sadly be pronounced dead two days later. The murder would be a direct act of retaliation for the death of Captain a year prior. A CGE member named Sammy Guns would be wanted for the murder of Ace, but would sadly be shot to death by Peckham gang members only three months later. Oh. Rest in peace Ace and Sammy Guns. The beef I'll between be the gangs would go silent for a few years until Crazy. the late 2010s, when a gang member from Dagenham-based set 8910, now more 
more commonly referred to as DAG-109, would G-check a seventh member named Vando on the 12th of November 2016. Later in the day, Vando and another seventh member would be looking for revenge. Vando would spot Duran later on in the day and would confront him. Duran would be stabbed once in the stomach and his friend would be stabbed three times. The seventh members would flee the scene. Paramedics and police would arrive minutes later and Duran would be taken to hospital. However, he would die only three hours later and a murder investigation would be launched. Vando and the other seventh member would be arrested for the murder. They were originally facing murder charges. However, they would be cleared of the murder charge, but instead convicted of manslaughter under the grounds it was self-defense. Wow. Rest in peace, Duran. During the end of 2016 and start of 2017, we would see sixth members starting to drop music. We would see rappers like Young Diz starting to prosper in the music scene during these years. He had been making music since 2013, Even however, we didn't see much success. On the 3rd of April 2017, a member of Custom House allied with sixth named Grinna would be on his way to his local shop to buy a fruit juice. When he was getting ready to pay for his drink, seventh gang members would run into the shop, and a fight would ensue between Grinna and the members. Grinna would be stabbed in his heart and would sadly Golly. be pronounced dead on the scene. Can't even get a no fucking juice, bro. Would be launched after this, that with three arrests slow. being made in the following days of the murder. However, none of the people arrested would be charged, with the murder going unsolved till this day. You in 2022, police would release CCTV images and videos of the crime, and even offered up 20,000 pounds to anyone with information. However, it seems that the murder is still unsolved, with the killers still being free. Rest in peace, Grinna. After the death of Grinna, tit-for-tat incidents would occur between 6th and 7th. This included stabbings and shootings that would occur during the summer months of 2017, including prominent member of 6th, Young Diz being stabbed and shot multiple times in 2017. Luckily, he would survive. All of these tit-for-tat attacks in the streets would lead to one of the most brazen attacks in the history oh, of the boy. beef. Damn, damn, damn. On the 4th of September 2017, an affiliate of 7th named CJ, who was only 14, would be standing outside of a playground in East London with other 7th members. When a car would slowly approach the group, a gunman from the 6th gang would lean out of the car and shoot multiple times into the crowd. Sadly, CJ would be shot in the head and would be pronounced dead on the scene. CJ was said to have been groomed into the 7th gang, with his mum even finding 650 pounds worth of crack cocaine in his home. This whole situation is sad, as CJ could have made a legal path for himself in the future, but instead, he fell in with the wrong crowd. Now no one has been charged in connection to the murder, however a few arrests have been made. Rest in peace, CJ. After the death of CJ, Young Diz, who was one of the most prominent members of 6th, would start rapping and dissing CJ on songs. He would rap one of the rudest drill verses of all time. Only months later in May 2018, Young Diz would rap on a song called Smoky Things, where he would diss CJ and his mum. This verse is widely regarded as the rudest drill verse. 2018 would be a very active year for the um, two gangs musically. With the Young fuck did he say in that song? Oh, oops. They took two of my tunes down, cuz Blank's mum kept shedding tears. Somebody tell her I don't give a fuck that her son ain't here. Ever since her son got dropped, their whole block ain't done shit. And I was laughing when I saw that pic of a mum just bury your kid. That's fucking insane. Alright, Diz. Dickhead, man. Rumors. The rudest drill verse. 2018 would be a very uh, active year for the two rude. gangs musically, with young rappers like Castro, Striker, and Bones starting to drop songs on UK drill platforms like Pac Man TV and Mixtape Madness. Seventh would also have an active music scene, with a rapper named CB dropping UK drill banger Take That Risk in October 2017. It started to look like Seventh and Sixth could make a big name for themselves in music, although they dissed each other in pretty much every song. On the 14th of February 2018, oh, Seventh members, girl. including Vando, who we have already discussed, would use a stolen car and ride onto their op block. Promise, who was a sixth affiliate, would be walking with a group of friends at around 8 p.m. When a car would slowly approach, affiliate. what Promise didn't know was that the car would contain seventh members. The car full of seventh members would then drive into Promise, knocking him over. Promise yeah, managed to go. escape the situation by running down Butcher's Road. However, the seventh members would take chase and Vando would catch up and stab Promise multiple times. Promise would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene with the attackers fleeing. All four of the attackers would be arrested and charged with the murder of promise. This included Vando mm -hmm. who wouldn't be as lucky as before and would be no. sentenced to life in prison say, along with his co-defendants. Rest in peace promise. Vando is often Still mentioned in bullshit. recent 7th songs, them, as again. he is one of the most active members in Northside Newham as a whole, cool. and mentioned in recent 7th songs, as along with his co-defendants. Rest in peace, promise. Vando is often mentioned Vando. in recent 7th songs, as he is one of the most active members in Northside Newham as a whole. Yanko, who is a young 7th rapper, mentions the fact that Vando has killed two ops, a lot in his songs. Well, I'm on. Vando caught two in two years. The pagans ain't on what he's on. That side, nah. no. Free Vando lock for the merch. <laughs> Got hit by the front of the beamer. Yeah. Man drops to the pig. 
Young okay. Sluey was a loved and well-respected member of the Sixth Gang. Around the I time Promise died, Young Sluey would borrow money from another Sixth member. Now these two members were friends. However, weeks later, when the other Sixth member was looking for the money, Young Sluey wasn't able to pay him back. A fight would then ensue between the two members, and this would result in the Sixth member stabbing Young Sluey to death whilst being under the influence of drugs. After the death of Young Sluey, the war between Sixth and Seventh would start to quieten down due to a lot of the older members going to jail. This included Young Diz, who was arrested and sentenced for kidnapping and torturing a 16 year old over lost money Bull, shootings and stabbings would still occur in the streets these incidents wouldn't appear in the news but they would be referenced in songs made by the gangs in april 2019 a young seventh member would start rapping his name being yanko yanko would drop his first song being anyone can go this song was full of disses towards dead and alive sixth members another seventh member named whoosh would also start to gain attention during this time with his unique flow and aggressive bars although 2019 was looking good for seventh during the first half of 2019, CB would be given a 23-year sentence for waving a shotgun at police officers. This was a huge loss for the drill scene, as CB had taken over differently during 2018, dropping some of the hardest songs. 2019 was looking years, promising sure. for Yanko with him dropping over four songs. He would unfortunately be locked up around September 2019 and Who? would be dropping over four songs. He would unfortunately be locked up. 2019 was looking promising for Yanko with him dropping over four songs. He would unfortunately be locked up around September 2019 and would be facing drug charges, meaning he wasn't able to continue his music career, at least not for a while. Now 2019 okay. would end, with 2020 beginning and another set of 7th and 6th rappers emerging. In the 7th set, we would see rappers like C1 start to jump on beats. Weird emerging from the 6th set, we would see Twin S, who was a respected Weird older, and Double M, who was a younger. The beef wasn't very oh, active during 2020, as a lot of people were most likely in their homes during this time. However, 2021 would be till this day, the most dangerous year within the beef. Now, I just talked about Double M who had been making noise on the scene, dropping UK drill songs including his Plugged In, Gunsmoke, and his feature on a hotspot freestyle. Double M was looking as if he could become the next big rapper from 6th. Sadly, in 2021, the road uh -oh. life would catch up to him in the worst uh -oh. way. On the 7th of March 2021, Double M would be in 7th. Abbey Wood, Southeast London. Double Ironic M would be on. walking with a group of his friends. However, he would decide to split off from his friends and instead approach another group of people. Double M would have a conversation with one of the people. However, this conversation got heated and would end with the man pulling out a knife and stabbing Double M in the chest. Double M would return to his friends but didn't realize the stabbing was severe. His friends would notice and rush him to hospital. However, sadly, Double M would be pronounced dead in hospital later that day. This leading to yet another murder investigation being launched. It didn't take long for police to connect a man named Mohammed Shihabi, who was a civilian to the crime. Mohammed Shihabi was sentenced to nine years for the murder he committed. Rest in peace, Double M. Wait, the war in the street huh? didn't take long for police to connect a man named Mohammed Shihabi, who was a civilian to the crime. Mohammed Shihabi was sentenced to nine years for the what murder sense? he committed. Rest Am in I peace, something? Double M. A the war in the streets the would be raging at this point. Only a month later, another death would shock the nearby community. On the 25th of April, 2021, so a custom house member named Young Grinna, who was well known as Grinna's younger brother, would be standing say, outside of his family home in East London. When I heard Grinna's name earlier, I was like, that sounds familiar. Didn't he have a brother that passed too? I hope everybody mentioned, man. That's tough. That's tough. My bad. When a car would slowly Gamers. approach, what young Grinna didn't know was that this car was full of CGE and 7th members. The members would exit the car and shoot young Grinna. The members would then all run towards him and stab him multiple times whilst he was on the floor. Sadly, young Grinna would be pronounced dead on the scene. This meant that both of the brothers had been lost to the street life, leaving a massive hole in the family. Golly Rest in God. peace, Grinna and young Grinna. Okay. After the death of young Grinna, 7th would start disrespecting him in songs, with C1 being oh, one of know. the main rappers from the 7th set starting to rap and drop songs disrespecting his Later on in 2021, the seventh set would see in-house problems, with one of their own members being murdered, causing a massive divide in the seventh gang. Now a seventh member and popular drill rapper Stick Up would find himself in an argument with other seventh members, who were his friends. Like all friends, arguments are bound to happen. However, this was different, and ended in the three seventh members stabbing Stick Up multiple times, leaving him to die. Stick Up would sadly be pronounced dead only moments later, with the killers. Now, Woodgrange and BWC are both sets that make up the seventh gang. So after 
after Stickup was killed by his own friends, the two sides would split, with certain members siding with different members. Oh, after wow. the death of Stickup, BWC and Woody would start to actively beef. This resulted in tit-for-tat incidents in the streets. This included when BWC members would catch a Woody member in jail and stab him in the neck. This was a direct retaliation for the murder of Stickup, with it even being alleged that Yanko was responsible for the attack, as he talked about the incident in his song Painting a Picture. The beef between 6th and 7th has been quite active since 2021, with tit-for-tat incidents occurring nearly right. every month in the streets. Sixth has been making a big noise in the music scene recently, with Twin S being released from prison and starting to drop songs again. A sixth member named Ryda recently burst onto the scene and has been dropping UK drill songs that I are already starting to rake in hundreds of thousands of views. Ryda is looking as if he can make it big in the drill scene. Although this has been said about other rappers, I hope Ryda can use his talent and get big in the drill scene as he has a lot of potential. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Rest in peace, everyone one in this video Absolutely. remember this life isn't worth it real hey man w uk drill plug you know what i'm saying hey number facts you know what i'm saying but yeah man shit ain't cool man this shit ain't cool but anyways links in the description again soon appreciate y'all for tuning in last reaction for the night again uh you know what i'm saying so until next time, my niggas. But yeah, y'all take it easy. Good book, 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 book. Good book.